Hi, welcome to Appliance Doctor Live. I'm Bill, and um, thanks for tuning in during these uh, hot summer months. And today, with the 4th of July weekend and the 90 degree temperatures, the summer is here in full force. This is Appliance Master's busiest time of year. Children are home from school, you're doing more laundry, you're making more ice cubes, your appliances are working their hardest. Unfortunately, this is also the time for the greatest amount of appliance failures. And normally, we book uh, repair appointments the same day or the next day. This time of year, that's almost impossible. And to help both of us, I recommend that you pay close attention to your appliances. Look for signs that may lead up to a breakdown. If you have, if you have con concerns, uh, it's easier to address them now before you have a breakdown, and it's easier to get them scheduled. Uh, so, for instance, if you are... Um, if you have a condenser coil in your refrigerator that looks like this, your, um, your refrigerator is not breathing well and it's suffering. It's like, if you make an appointment now, we can get it out a couple days and we can address it before you have something break down, before your food melts and before it's a crisis. So also, um, you can touch the outside of your refrigerator. If it seems overly warm, sounds like it's running, it sounds like it's making some unusual noises, call us for service right away. Don't, don't wait until you, know, you have ice cream dripping out of your freezer door, okay? If your dryer vent looks like this, call for service right away. That uh, may seem like it's working fine, may not have a problem, but it doesn't take long for a bird to fly in there to have all kinds of creatures. We had a raccoon in our garbage can this morning. I mean, there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of critters out and about. If your dryer vent looks like this, also, you know, if you have a cage over it like that, it's, again, it might be working okay now, but it's struggling. Again, it's a breathing problem. Your dryer can't breathe, and it's better to be get, getting on the schedule now when it's convenient for you convenient for us when we can make sense of the schedule rather than when it, you know there's a crisis. If you have something behind your clothes dryer that looks like this, all right, that's also a cry for help. That That's not installed right. A lot of the dryers we go to um, with vent problems are installation problems from the very beginning. And we hear it time and again. People will complain about their dryer, it breaks, they go buy a new one, and a couple months later, it's having problems with that. It's not the dryer, it's the venting. and the I'm going to say near half of the dryer venting we go to is installed improperly. People take it for granted. They think it's a lot easier. They look at it and say, look, how hard could it be? And sometimes it's harder. To, and uh, if you have dryer venting that's white, that's a problem. You know, not only the lint build up inside, but the vinyl. When that burns, that creates all kinds of problems. So, and particularly during this time of COVID, that's another, you know, something to stay on top of, we will have one of our friendly technicians, this guy, or somebody, or someone who looks like that, come to your home, because if your washing machine breaks, the last thing you want to be is this woman, you know? It's like, I don't even know if you can find a washboard anymore, but you don't want to be that person. So, pay close attention, unusual noises, smells, temperatures, anything that's odd, call right away, we'll get you on the schedule, it may not be today, but we'll get you on hopefully before it breaks down, and then uh, we'll all be happier. Anyway, if we don't see you, have a great summer. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, appliancemaster.com.